पत्थर
we need that in there. Okay, babies, almost done. Wait, let me see. What y'all want to know, guys? Ask me anything. Because I answer. Mmm. What are done? These are done.
this age, almost like around one, two, or even like starting at six months, they just want to be free. Like, can I let my girl like crawl at the airport, like on the floor and stuff? People look at me like, they need to move around, you know? My babies that want to drink, almost want to drink.
sweat, I don't have food ready for when Corey wakes up. And I did that in what, 10, 15 minutes? Or less. I, and the live was holding me up in Bronxy, but normally I can make something in like 10 minutes, like that. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, Like, I had to learn how to be, like, be happy every day. I had to go to therapy and everything. It wasn't easy. After, when you go through something, like, heartbreaking, you can just do like this and be happy. But, and I'm still not, like, there all the way, but I'm, like, much better. Ah, this is... Du weißt, ich meine dich. French here, it's 1 or 2 a.m. Oh, wow. I think in Germany, too. Yeah, yeah. Alternale getroffen. Oh, Sophie? Sophie, alleine. Sophie? Yeah, with the kids, no? Hey from the hey Bahamas. Hey to the Bahamas. Ooh, I've been there before. Been. <laughs> Man, okay, I think I need to wake up for you guys. Because my daughter needs to go to bed. Mine, and it's four now. If she don't wake up now, it'll be midnight. Yes, these are my brows, but I got makeup on. Obviously. Can't see. But when I take it off, they kind of look like this, but not as full. Mm-mm-mm. I know, it's getting boring, right? I should go. I want to just look at me. Let's like, talk about something. Ask me something. And not like, are you with Peter or not? I already answered that. What should I, like, what do you guys want to see me do? You guys want me to put out a hot song, a dope song. That's what most people want to hear my song on the radio. Because if it's not, they think I don't have any music out. So I need a song that's like on the charts, right? So I'm yeah, that's what y'all want. Y'all want me to perform? Well, every time I do performances, y'all don't come out. Like the people that say, oh, when is your next show? Y'all don't show up. I do small venues a lot, and like it's always chill and super empty. Like nobody tries to come out to see me, and it's cool because I play anyway because I love it. And it's good practice for me. But people are always like, oh, you should perform. Like when are you performing? And then they don't come. What's that about? I'm gonna keep doing it anyway. It's what I do. But, same. Come out. Oh, you did. King and Digo. Thank you. I'm not, you know, I'm not saying everyone, but most people, like a lot of the people that say, when is your next show? Don't show up. Because I feel like I should be on a tour. I should be doing, I should try to get on a tour or something. And but then I have to bring my kids. Oh, it's going to be a lot. So we have to really strategize. <laughs> but I would love to do it at the tour. I haven't toured in a long time. PA, I don't know when I'm coming to PA. I need to, that's what I just said, I need to like, or get on a tour with someone else, that'd be, that would be great, actually, get on a tour with someone else, Philly, yeah, Philly, I, oh, people always ask, to sit, tell me, come to Philly, I love it, I love it there, that's where we got discovered, me and my sisters, in Philly, that's where we got our first production deal, which led us to our first record deal, in Philly. See. Headliner. I can't be a headliner if I don't have audience. And it seems like you need a, like a hit record on the radio to have like people come on to see you. I have a YouTube.
YouTube channel. I just talked about that. YouTube.com slash a butterfly. I have a YouTube channel with all my music on there. I just need to put up more live videos. I think you guys like seeing those. But I have a YouTube channel. Diana. Oh, hi. And you're a good manager that is very true. I don't have one, haven't had one in years. <laughs> that is very true. Till my kids wake up so we can eat together as a family. You need to promote better. Well, I need help with that too. I can't do everything alone. I promote on my IG, that's not enough. Right? Hi. Anyway, I have this song. Oh man, I love my song. There's one song that I just did and I love it. And I have it like I'm hearing it right now. I wish I could play it. But yo, my neighbors, I can't play music anymore. And that's why I'm moving as soon as I can. They complain all the time. It's so annoying. But last time, my neighbors called the security of the building. He came up and saw me, black dude. He saw me, he was like, oh, whatever it is, you good. I was like, okay, I put the music back on. <laughs> he was like, don't worry about it. Music. I think it's the music that bothers them, but they're gonna, yeah, they're gonna be. Nothing can stop me as I see that green light. I'll be hot to morning light. You feel no different, and if you did, then why are you so big right now? Give it, give it, give it to me. To me, give it, give it, give it to me, give it to me, baby. I don't wanna walk in town. No, I don't wanna walk in town. Yeah, my sister's here. Jazz butterfly. I cooked some pasta for my kids. They love it. It's their favorite, you know, pasta and pizza. Most kids, right? What kind of food should, should I have at the baby uh, birthday? Like hot dogs, fries, and like chicken fingers and stuff, right? For kids. So we're working on that now. <laughs> Sandwiches. John, is your name John? Because I just wrote a song named Johnny. And it's so crazy because it's about a guy named Johnny and I don't even know what Johnny. And I just was like, because I always write songs first. I write like, I don't ever have a concept or idea first. I just write, I just write the melody and then whatever words come to me and then it starts flowing and then it leads to something else. That's how I like to write. But the other day I was like, I want that want a song with a name. What name should I use? Like a guy name. And then um, I looked up names on the internet, and then the first <laughs> name that came up was John. And I'm like, I'm gonna write a song with John with the name John. And I, it was like a challenge that I gave myself, and I made it. it ends up being Johnny. And I'm maybe that's somebody in my future. I don't know. That's really so crazy, right? In the future, if I meet someone named Johnny, and I already have the song about him, because it's like a it's like a love song about this guy, John guy that is hot or whatever, and we just have fun. 
Ain't nothing serious, but Johnny is like, that's his name. So, it's like an imagination, because a lot of my songs, they just not, like, even though I like to write about, like, real life stuff, like, a lot of my songs, it's like, imaginary. Or half imaginary, and then half of it happened to me, actually. So you can't always take it too serious. You know? Oh my god, that's so sweet, real 1BK. That's really sweet. I'm not back on Love and Hip Hop yet. Not now. I'm taking a break when I'm not filming anything. Um, I'm okay not doing it this season because I get to focus. I get to really like. I really have to make something else happen. Like, I really, and I want to. There's, I'm so much more than just the show, you know? I got so much more to offer, and I really focused on it, and I'm excited about it, and whatever I will be doing from here. I'm really excited about it. So, getting back to the music, because there was a lot of distraction, you know, when you go through all the drama and stuff. Like, and then also the filming, you don't really have time, like, and then with my kids, like, I, I really rather put out another album, work on another album right now, at least, maybe in the future. I'll be back on a show. And by the way, we get a show coming out in September that I'm on. It's not Love and Hip Hop, but it's another reality show, which will be entertaining. My feet size, I have a seven and a half foot, and people always make fun that my feet look big, but they don't. They just maybe look big in photos. Sometimes it must be the angle because when they look at my feet, they're little. They're really small. I'm 5'6 and I have a seven and a half foot. And I have, I, I really have small feet. So when they say I have big feet, it's like, what? <laughs> no, but okay. Pick look with Adam Faction. I'm to go for a few things. That's, I take that as a set compliment. You know, I don't like to say bad things about each other to help me. Like, it's probably why why you are watching me right now because of Love Hip Hop. Because that's probably why you know me. That's probably why you think that I have talent and I have, you know, why you want to hear music of mine because you saw me on Love Hip Hop. So I have to be. So it was a good thing. Because otherwise, you wouldn't know who the hell I am. So I was like, when I put my first uh, solo EP out, you gotta, guys gotta get it. I always tell people, go to iTunes, search Amina, not Amina Butterfly, just Amina, and download I Am Part One. It's like my, I think my, I don't know, I think it's my favorite project. Like the songs on there, it's still out, and it's just nobody finds it, because when they look up my music now, it's Amina Butterfly. But that first album is under just Amina. And I, I composed all the songs myself, and it's amazing. Ooh, shocked. First EP is the best one. See, and now, how am I going to make music, put out music that is not as good or better? Whatever I put out next has to be better than what I already have out. So a lot of times when I'm in the studio and I write a song, yeah, it's cool, it's dope, but I want it to be crazy, just like so crazy so much better than everything that I have already done and I have done so much music like I have written so many songs and to top that is hard because some of them are amazing to top something amazing is difficult to make something greater than I've already made will be very hard and that's what I'm working on right now because I want my next album to be the best album out of all the albums that I already have right makes sense So yeah, man, why don't we hear your music then? Because I haven't had a hit on the radio or like in the, the billboard or whatever. Like you can hear my music if you want to, if you like it. And if you're a fan, you can totally hear my music and go to iTunes and download it. It's a lot of music out there and support it. And then maybe it'll be, you know, more successful. But even if it's not, I'll continue doing it because I do it because I love it. And it's me and I will always do it. For those who do care and that do check and that do download, I'll do it for y'all and for myself because it makes us happy. You know, there's so much music of me out there. 
get a hit on the radio. The thing is, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We will see. If you do care about my music, then I hope you have it. Thanks. I appreciate everyone that supports me. I don't look like Alicia Keys, not at all. I mean, not that she will. She's gorgeous, but I don't feel like I've never heard that one. But, you know, we both biracial, so maybe that's it. Okay, guys, you guys, I have to go wake up my daughter. She's been asleep for three hours. I've been doing yoga for five years, six years, but I took a long break when I had kids and when I was doing my pregnancies and stuff. But it's life. It's life. It's life. It's life. It's life. Wake her up, right? I gotta wake up, Corby. Yeah, I mean, I'll always continue doing um, what I do. If I have a hit or not, I'll continue doing music and performing wherever I can. And. and we got signed to Def Jam and a guy named Russell Simmons told me I had to take it out. And I did. I wouldn't now. If somebody would tell me now, I would say, mm, no. Because I loved it, actually. It was cute. It was a lip ring. And I had a, oh wait, what side was it? I think here, a bro. Oh well, yeah. What's with all these crazy people in their lives? Who gets naked on live? I don't even do that when I FaceTime people. <laughs> mm. But anyway, I'm going to wake up my daughter because I want her to go to bed later so I can work. Oh, what happened to my deal with Def Jam? Read my book. I have a book out on Amazon.com. Download it. It's called The Other Woman and everything that you want to know about what happened with the Def Jam deal is in there. So read that, okay? Love you guys. <laughs> 